it is my favorite time of may it's when we're about to open our pool but first things first we gotta clean off all the sperm go look at my last video to see the sink that we found on the cover so we have to skim that all off and then next we pull off these bags that have water in them to keep the cover on and then we just pull the cover off and let all the water go in because we're gonna clean it and then we have to take these things out so we can do stuff with the pump and the filter and we do all that good stuff so it just everything flows right and then we have 10 gallons worth of chlorine and then two tablets in each skimmer and then we pour then we have to scrub the sides to get all the algae off and last we have to skim once again lots of skimming like for a part two hi guys got a pool clean here today as you can see it's really disgusting and messy just gonna start brushing it all and scooping it up into the bucket. Ugh, it's disgusting. Got the pool guy on the jet wash. Um, as you can see, it's coming off quite well, but uh, not good enough. So, got the acid. Just gonna mix some of that with water and um, start brushing it on. And that's gonna agitate the algae and loosen it up. So it should be easy to jet wash off. Just gonna carry on scrubbing. As you can see, it's coming off pretty well. And then jet wash again, which is just taking it all off. Just gonna uh, get the hoover, hoover up all the sludge at the bottom of the pool. And there we go. Pool looks lovely. Job done. So today I'm gonna show you guys how we clean our pool here. First, we start off by taking a brush and brushing all of the dirt down to the deep end. And as you can see, it's absolutely disgusting with all the algae and everything. We'll get it cleaned up. Then we begin to thoroughly vacuum the pool. So you just get all that nastiness out of there. It's starting to clear up a tiny bit more than it was yesterday already. Next up, you want to put about four gallons of pool shock in the pool and let it sit overnight. And sure enough, after just a few hours, things are really starting to come together. It has more of a grayish blue look now. Next day, we're putting another four gallons of bleach in it. It's already looking better. Just, just use four gallons of pool shock. Now I'm putting four more, so that's eight gallons in one day. So about 30 gallons of pool shock later, here's what we got. Hello everyone, this is day one of cleaning my pool for the season. So to start, I hooked the pump up and got the water draining while I started all the other stuff. I pulled all the dead floaties out, RIP Mr. Bear. I picked up all the trash that was in the pool and around the area. Day one's pretty simple. It's not necessarily cleaning the pool, but more of what's around it instead. Um, like I had to trim all of these dead vines that were in the way on the diving board. I also t um, had to trim this tree to make it look nicer because it's just in the way. I took a break and then I started trimming this bush. Um, I also wanted to fix up the shed too, but I figured out the vines up there are poison ivy, so no. Um, I want to talk about why my pool is so gross. Basically, we live in the Midwest, so the pool freezes over the winter and we can't use it. So it just saves money to let it get gross and then clean it all out for the season. And it's really not that hard anyways. Our pool isn't perfect. It came with the house and it's over 60 years old. So what do you expect? Hello everyone, finally it is day two of cleaning my pool for the season. First we had to brush up all the algae to the top of the pool so that we could scoop it into the bucket and get it out. There's Mal. <laughs> this is what it looked like when we had all of the gunk actually out of the pool. Then we had to rinse it down so that we didn't slip because it is very slippery and I actually almost fell earlier and we don't want that. <laughs> so this is what it looked like. When we were done rinsing, we had to do some brushing. Then we rinsed that down. It's basically just a repetitive process of cleaning and rinsing and brushing. This is me taking a smoothie break and that's kind of what it looked like. Now we drain and wait and wait for part three. So come back, please. Hello everyone. It is day four, the final day of cleaning my pool for the season. So to finish up the pool, I power washed the deck. 
and then a lot of people were telling me I should do the diving board as well so I did that and this is what it looked like here's some little clips of the pool actually filling up and to top the pool off I obviously had to blow up and clean off our um, very dirty floaties and this is the final product a lot of people were saying the pool is still dirty, but that's just the wear and tear from being over 50 years old. But none of that matters because it is clear and blue. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has followed me and stuck around because I love every single one of you. Thanks so much! Alright y'all, we got a $150,000 pool today on the route. Let's get started. Get the skimmers. Shut the pump off so I can see. Trench looks terrible. My girl Taylor. What's up, Taylor? Check the water. Check pH first. Super satisfying. Check chlorine. Give it a shake. pH looks high. Add some acid to bring that pH down and at the top so I can vacuum the bottom throw the hammer head in super satisfying give the pool a brush that's it follow for more well hi this is my friend Tenny's pool and me and my friends decided to clean it this summer so we could play in it that's a dead rat we found that's my friend Milana grabbing a shovel and Tenny telling us what to do. That's a li alligator lizard we found. He was fat. This is a clip of Milana trying to get him out. Yeah, she was pretty successful. She tried then she handed me the shovel and I had to stop the clip. This is me grabbing a broom. We found a fat black widow. Enjoy that. That's my friend Al. He was got it out. Then the boys took a skate break and a longer skate break and then Tenny's sister's friend brought out her roller skates and she was like vibing except it was a little scary and then we started power washing and that's what we were there for the whole time and yeah we still have more to do day one of cleaning our pool poured half of this bottle in a Gatorade bottle our cover fell in last year I'm going around the pool with this and I'm going to pour some of this in there Look at that. Go and let it sit there overnight. Be back tomorrow with part two. Day two of cleaning the pool. It cleared up overnight a little. Now we gotta pull this cover out with brooms. Got the pump going. Bam. Oh. Oh. Some more shots. Yeah, get the work. Shut up. <laughs> slime slap. Part three tomorrow. Day three cleaning the pool. All right, so it's clearing up a lot. It's just a bunch of bugs and leaves. You can see through the windows now. So my brother and sister are doing school work, so I gotta replace this filter by myself. All right, so we got this nasty filter out. Okay, so we're adding some more pool shot to this. Hi, Molly. Say hi to TikTok. Okay, I'm gonna scrub the bottom of the pool a little bit with this. Pool's a little lopsided from the ground being uneven, but it is what it is. All right, so I scrubbed the whole bottom of the pool with this. So that's all we can do for today. So come back tomorrow for day four. Day four, cleaning the pool. So it's clearing up more. There's stuff all around the edges. So before I do any of that, I got to clean this filter out. Now I'm gonna scrub the bottom of the pool with this big old brush I have. 
All right, TikTok, this is Maddie. Say hi, Maddie. Okay. All right, I'm done scrubbing the bottom of the pool, but it's all green from all the stuff that was on the bottom. So now I gotta scoop out all these leaves and stuff so it can filter through. All right, now I'm gonna clean this filter out again because all that stuff that just got pushed through it. All right, that's all for today. So come back tomorrow for day five. All right, so we're vacuuming today, so day five and a half of cleaning our pool. Got to clean the filter first. Okay, so I got to get in to connect this big old vacuum we have. All right, we couldn't get the vacuum to work, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Day six of cleaning our pool. All right, we bought a sand filter the other day, so we're about to put that together. Add in some more shock so it can circulate through. A little bit of algae cleaner. All right, while that algae cleaner's setting through, I'm gonna scoop out all these leaves and stuff. All right, my mom's at the store right now getting sand so we can put it around where the filter's at. I forgot to eat today. All right, I'm gonna scrub the bottom of the pool just in case there's anything else left down there. A little more algae cleaner to kill all that algae I just brushed up. All right, so there's still leaves and stuff at the bottom of the pool in some spots, so I'm going to clean those up. All right, going to lay the sand down now. All right, sand's all down. We're going to buy some more later to go around the rest of the pool. This isn't a beach. This is a bathtub. Tomorrow, I'm going to put in these solar stakes around our pathway. Cut it. Cut it. I'm going to cut you. Cut. Okay. All right, that's all for today. We should be done here soon, so day seven tomorrow. Day seven of cleaning our pool. Now we're gonna backwash the filter. Trying to backwash. Ooh. Ooh. Yay! Got we got a little leak, so we're gonna seal that up. Ma, 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 ma. Left hand first, put your right hand on top, and ma. You're so good at this. Shut up. Okay, so that screw is stripped. All right, time to put these stakes in. All right, so stakes are all in, filters taken care of. Now we're just waiting on the water to clear up from all the chemicals that we have in it. So that's all for today. I don't know if we'll have a day eight because it's supposed to rain the next few days. So maybe day eight tomorrow. So nobody can find a pool or a pool filter right now, right? And I'm not spending a couple hundred dollars on something for a pool that I spent $50 on. So we, we did this from the pool into the baby pool, into the sump pump, back into the pool via the t-shirt filter.